ever since Crack the Sky, we've kind of taken the stance that whatever tragedies in, in your life, you know, ev that everyone goes through, we're lucky enough to have this thing to put it all in, you know, and it's Mastodon. We use it for that. It's a nice container to put these kind of things. Yeah, it's a terrible situations, but we can put it somewhere. So we have Mastodon. That's where we're going to put it. That's where we put my sister's death. That's where we put Brent's brother's death. That's where we put Troy's wife's cancer. That's where we put Bill's mom's death. That's where we put all this stuff. And you turn it into something beautiful, or you try to at least. The writing process for this record officially began at the, at the start of 2016. I wonder what it's called. The Emperor of Sand is what I would like to call the record. 99 times out of 100, Braun's the one who's like, okay, well, I got this idea and here, here, let's call it The Hunter, let's call it Crack the Sky or Remission. And when I first hear it, I'm always like, oh, that sounds kind of weird. Even Once More Around the Sun, when I heard that, I was like, I have to think about that. But then looking back like on the album titles and concepts and everything, it's like a no-brainer. It's just, I don't ever think twice about it. I'm like, yeah, Remission, Leviathan. You know, once the record comes out and everything, it's just like, oh yeah, it, it totally makes sense. Braun's smart. He knows what he's talking about. So yeah, Emperor of Sand. That's what I want to call it. So it's kind of like a metaphor for cancer, I think. There's been a lot of cancer going around in, in the world in general, but in our personal lives. Cancer will touch your life at some point, unfortunately. Since the dawn of time, people have dealt with this. And what it is is a very stealth disease. It's something you can't see and it's, it's in you. You're born with it. It's silent all its life and it's running without vision. Something that can hollow you out inside and change all that's right. The Sultan's Curse. It's the beginning of the journey. First song is Sultan's Curse. What light do you have to reflect outward? Give this fight everything that you've got. And that's where the album starts. Tired and lost, no one to trust, who's there to give you the push? First song sets the tone for the record. I'm pretty sure it's a party song. Oh, it might be about Satan, yeah, it is. One of them's about Satan. So many lyrics, it's hard to remember. The Emperor of Sand, kind of another way of saying the Grim Reaper, or, you know, sand is, represents time, and when you, a person who's given a cancer diagnosis, you ultimately are thinking, how much time do I have, you know? It's facing your own mortality. And what does that mean? It's like, well, what do I do with this time? How much time? It's usually the first question. When you're reminded of your mortality, then you think a little bit more about it, obviously. How much time is left? And it's what you do from that moment forward that means everything. It's that dark journey that one goes on from this diagnosis to the very end result. So it's the fight, it's the struggle, and it's what you can muster from the inside out that will determine any longevity that you might have. That is the basis of what the Emperor of Sand is all about. Yeah, it's a heavy subject matter. But we're not sick, we're healthy right now. Well, that's awesome. So we try to take advantage of that and write as much music and have as much fun as we possibly can with it. But also pay tribute to uh, our loved ones who have passed on. We try to channel all this energy into something that we believe in and create music. It's, it's very therapeutic for us. There's a lot going on for everybody, but we get together and we riff out and it helps. 
it is cathartic, you know. It's like for me, I'm, I feel like I'm a pretty quiet person, but um, I put all my thoughts and energy into playing guitar, writing music the best I can. There was no preconceived ideas to write a record about this, but it just made total sense because that's what we've all been living over the past year and a half. And when you play music, sort of emote through your instrument, so the record is what all that stuff sounds like. What's the most honest thing we can write about? We can write about what we're living, what we're experiencing, what we're feeling. The record ends up being a collection of music that heavily reflects what the band members over the past year and a half, what we've gone through on a personal level, you know, because we really enjoyed what Crack the Sky was able to achieve. I think it's kind of a fitting metaphor for the new record since that was so deeply a part of the whole writing for me, you know. It may be dark, it's definitely gloomy, but it's extremely real. Mastodon pulls from that. And when the four of us get together and create, it's extremely heartfelt, and I've said it forever, but it means the world to us. Emperor of Sand, here you go.